The last remaining member of an uncontacted indigenous group in Brazil has died. The man, whose name was not known, had lived in total isolation for the past 26 years. He was known as Man of the Hole because he dug deep holes, some of which he used to trap animals while others appear to be hiding spaces. His body was found on August 23 in a hammock outside his straw hut. There were no signs of violence. He is thought to have died of natural causes at an estimated age of 60. The man had probably died 40 to 50 days before his body was found. The man was the last of an indigenous group living in the Tanaru indigenous area in the state of Rondonia, which borders Bolivia. There were no signs of any incursions in his territory and nothing in his hut had been disturbed, officials said. A postmortem will be carried out to try to determine whether he had contracted a disease. As he had avoided any contact with outsiders, it is not known what language the man spoke or which ethnic group he may have belonged to. A member of Brazil's indigenous protection agency, the National Indian Foundation, FUNE, who found the man dead in a hammock outside his straw dwelling in the Tanaru indigenous area in the state of Rondonia, bordering Bolivia. Brightly colored macaw feathers surrounded his body, leading Algier to conclude that the man had arranged the feathers in anticipation of his own death. No outsider knew this man's name or even very much about his tribe and with his death the genocide of his people is complete, Fiona Watson, a research and advocacy director at Survival International, who visited the tribe's territory in 2004, said in a statement. For this was indeed a genocide, the deliberate wiping out of an entire people by cattle ranchers hungry for land and wealth. It's not known for certain why he had dug so many 10-foot, 3-meter, holes, including inside his own dwelling. Some were filled with spearheads, while those inside his house had scratches on their walls, possibly a hint that they had some spiritual significance. Mr. Algier, the Fune agent who found his body, said that all of the huts the man had built over the years, of which there were more than 50, also contained a 3M deep, 10 feet, hole. Evidence found over the years in the area also suggests he planted maize and manioc and collected honey as well as fruits such as papaya and bananas. Under Brazil's constitution, indigenous people have a right to their traditional land, and access to the land he inhabited, known as the Tanaru Indigenous Territory, has been restricted since 1998. The man's troubles with invaders began in the 1970s when farmers took over land belonging to his tribe. Then, sometime in the 1980s, illegal ranchers gave the tribe offerings of sugar laced with rat poison, which killed most of the tribe's members, according to Fune officials. This was followed by at least one other attack in the early 1990s in which the few survivors of the poisoning, said to be around six people, were shot and killed, Fune officials said. Only the man of the whole survived. With the man of the whole dead, indigenous rights groups have called for the Tanaru Reserve to be granted permanent protection. There are about 240 indigenous tribes in Brazil, with many under threat as illegal miners, loggers and farmers encroach onto their territory, warned Survival International, a pressure group fighting for the rights of indigenous people.